I hope everyone's having a fantastic day. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to grow these beautiful lantanas and how to maintain them. If you have ever been to the Southwest, chances are you've seen a lantana. Lantanas can easily be spotted everywhere you go. They're easily identified as a shrub or a ground cover with clusters of blooms varying in color. I always get asked on how do I get my lantanas to get so big. So I'll need to take you back in time to January where I prune them back hard. I do this because most of the blooms will grow on new growth of the plant. I will then wait to see which branches have died off due to our mild winters. For the month of February, I'll let the lantanas leaf out a bit more and continue to remove any dead branches or damaged branches. Once I start seeing the lantanas budding more, this signals me to start feeding them. I like to use a high quality fertilizer with a balance ratio. Even though lantanas will grow even in the worst of soils, I like to treat them to some goodies. Lantanas prefer well-draining soil. They do not like sitting in water. This will further prevent any diseases from arising. It's best to wait a few days before watering them again. For the month of May, June, July, sit back, relax, and watch the lantanas showcase their non-stop bloom in action. Lantanas are extremely drought tolerant. They really enjoy basking in the sun, preferably with sunlight up to six to eight hours or more. It's amazing how big lantanas can grow in a single season. They can get to full size in no time. One of the issues that I face with maintaining them is that they have the tendency to outgrow their space faster than their bloom rate. Thanks to Fulton Plant Science, also at Arizona and here on YouTube, I learned how to better manage this issue. It's all about controlling your bush. Hey guys, guess what? I got a new helper and I didn't have to pay her money. Check this out. I'm teaching her how to cut marrow stems to control your bush. So what are you, what are you doing young lady? Uh, I'm cutting the middle part of the bloom. Middle part of the bloom. What's that do? It prevents it from growing another. Um... To growing another node? Yeah. Okay. Wow. <laughs> awesome. Some of the added benefits of cutting mare stems is that it will promote uh, better blooms. It'll increase uh, tons of flowers and maintain the overall shape of your bush. Here, I've located the center branch just above the flowering node and made my cut. Doing this will promote branching at nodes below where you have cut, causing the plant to focus its energy into the flowers. This stops the branch from growing out further. It's similar to deadheading a rose or a petunia. This will also keep your flowers at the surface of the plant. As we head into the fall and winter months, you can stop fertilizing your lantana bushes and cut the watering by half. This will allow the lantana to rest up and repeat this seasonal cycle once again. Do you have lantana bushes? Do you prefer the natural looking or the former looking? Comment down below. I'd like to hear from you. This is Francis with Nice AZ Lawn and I want to thank you for watching.